Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. He's a Hall of Fame songwriter, a rapper, a producer, a TV star, and record executive. We could go on and on and on. He's also worked with and discovered some of the biggest stars in the music industry, but there's much more to Atlanta's own Jermaine Dupri. His life is the focus of an upcoming episode of Uncensored, and Jermaine joins me now to talk about what he reveals on <laughs> Uncensored. It's so good to see you. Thank you. How are you hey, welcome back to Good Day. Okay, so this is cool. I like this show for many reasons, one being that it lets you <coughs> tell your story mm -hmm. in your own words. So what was that like for you? Interesting, because I just felt like I was just talking to myself. Uh -huh. So then you start realizing, like, I've been sitting here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty long... I think I think they ran out of time. Really? Yeah, because I mean, it was, my story's pretty long. Yeah, 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 and it's long. This is what we were talking about during the break. His story's long because he started in the entertainment industry, which I didn't realize. You were 12 years old. Yeah. What were you doing at 12? Um, I actually got an opportunity to go on a real tour at 12. Um, with Houdini, Run DMC, the Fat Boys, um, and actually become the opening act of the tour. So it's kind of like when you watch this you start learning why I did the rap game why what what's my connection uh -huh. to this this group of kids at that age um this they basically are me yeah 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 it makes a lot of sense you're right whenever yeah. you put it like that so yeah. what's something that that maybe a lot of people wouldn't know about you already Jermaine that you had a chance to share on the show I mean, well, Can you give us a little bit of a I'm starting to see that people didn't know the story of Usher's confessions but I thought I thought Everyone did, but um, you know, I wrote the song, and majority of that song was about my life. I didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. That's really interesting. So again, this is why it's so cool. And you also said it's nice to be able to say what you want to say in this because you'll hear things and you're like, that's not true at all. Yeah, right? it's a lot of people that have my. Oh, it's a lot of people that say he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth because his father was in the music industry. You learn when my father got in the music industry on this. So you yeah. just got to watch it. Yeah, looking forward to it. So what was your reaction when they came to you and, and, and asked you to be a part of this? <laughs> asked you to be a part of this project? Um, well, I mean, you know, like I said, I wanted to make sure that it was just, um, I had to figure out how it was something that I, that, that wasn't like, a, um, I don't know what you say, but it, I, I, I just wanted to make sure it was, it wasn't going to be like an interview because yeah. I've done a million interviews. Right. So the difference is, like I said, I'm talking to you. It's just like you're listening mm -hmm. to me tell you my life story starting at 12. Yeah. And what a story, too. And I know that, that in all this, you, you have to mention So So Deaf, this being the, the 26th year uh, of So So Deaf. And then also you, you talked about the rap game as well. But I want to circle back to something that we talked about in February. You came and visited us. We talked about Super Bowl Live, mm -hmm. a huge success. Yes. So, so what was it like being the mastermind behind that? Um, after it was over, it was beautiful. <laughs> after it was over, right? <laughs> it's it a lot over, of work. After it was over, it was beautiful. <laughs> I mean, as the process of watching it happen and watching the people come out and watching the people really enjoy themselves, it was beautiful. Yeah, it I mean, it big, got rave big, reviews. Yeah, it was crazy. It really did. So are you ready for another Super Bowl so here so you can put it on again, or do you need, like, some time? I think, I think, I mean, I think that jarred my mind to create you know, Jermaine Dupree weekend and, and you know, in Centennial Park. Nice. we got to get you back on to talk about that. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun, for yeah. sure, for sure. Okay, so what do you want to tell people to get them to watch you in this episode of Uncensored that's airing on Sunday? Um, just to, you know, um, really just pay attention to um, the story and, and, and a true, I guess, um, what is it, um, a true career because, yeah. you know, a lot of times we celebrate you know, these five minute people and this, that, and the third, we gotta mm -hmm. start celebrating people that's had these long careers, especially as long as mine. Yeah, a career that started at the age of 12. Yeah, <laughs> and incredible. I'm still, you know, still going. Just, just super young. Yeah, well, you, I mean, you are, yeah, it's still evolving and still continuing to add more projects. Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's the one thing I wanna make sure, I mean, that's the only reason I did it, I wanna change the narrative, because I feel like these type of stories only come out when people get really, really old and, are they dead or something like that? I wanted to make sure that people now. start paying attention to this now so that we can get past this and y'all can start paying attention to everything else. Love it. Looking forward to seeing it, Jermaine. Thank it's you. So good to see you. Right. Thanks for coming back in. And our thanks to TV One for help coordinating today's interview with Jermaine. You can see Jermaine Dupree on Uncensored Sunday night at 10, telling his story in his own words.